said, shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Well, you don't want to right to save your doggone soul. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, Rattle, and Roll was written in 1954 by Jesse Stone using the songwriting name Charles E. Calhoun. Now later on in that same year, it was recorded by Big Joe Turner and by Bill Haley. And two years later, 1956, Elvis did his version of it. In this lesson, I'll introduce the three different chords that are used in the song that is based very much on a 12-bar blues progression. So, uh, the first one is a C. Of course, my, that means my left hand, when I'm, when I'm playing the name note, is playing a C. And my right hand is playing a C, E, and G is my 1, 3, 5. And then I have F7, F in the bass, F, A, C, and E flat, 1, 3, 5, and 7. And as usual, we'll first go through the entire song, playing all the chords in their root position. And then we'll follow that up by using the technique of finding the nearest inversion. And we'll also take a look at some of the bluesy licks that are used in this fun early rock song. We're going to go to the F7 chord. Now there's a really cool thing that blues players do. I'm not going to go to, to an F7 this way. I'm not going to play all the notes in an F7. Although I could. But it sounds much cooler to merely make this C into a C minor. But have my bass note go to the F. Now let's figure out why that works. So come on over to totallykeyboards.com where you can find the lesson for Shake, Rattle, and Roll and for many, many other songs. And while you're there, why don't you check out my free lessons, Dave Coldren's Top 9 Tips to Keyboard Mastery. We'll see you there.